Hello Aries and cross watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, if you're currently subscribed to my channel, I just would like to say thank you for all the love and support. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to tap that red subscribe button one time. I choose one subscriber a month for a free 30 minute love reading. For the month of August, I'm gonna be choosing six winners. One for a free 30 minute love reading and then five winners. I will answer one question for you guys, okay? So I will be choosing six winners for the month of August. At the end of this reading, I'm gonna be announcing the winner for July uh, for their 30 minute free love reading. So please be sure to watch till the end to see if you were uh, picked, okay guys? Um, now, if you just so happen to be a Leo that's a cross watcher, it's Leo season, so happy birthday, and um, you'll get $10 off all readings um, with me, 30 minutes or more, till the end of Leo season, and if you've never had a reading with me before and it is your first time, you get $10 off, okay, no matter what sign you are, so you can book me for a personal reading, In all my information is in the description box below. So guys, for this month, for the month of August, we're going to be using Crystal Visions, beautiful deck, okay, all my decks are in the description box below, so if you're interested in anything here, Sage Kit, Tarot Dice, anything that you see here is in the description box below, okay? All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guys, what messages do we have for my Aries, please? I lost half the deck. What messages do we have for my Aries, please? Angel spirits, and guys, what love, love messages do we have for Aries for August 2019? What love messages do we have for my Aries for August 2019? What love messages do we have from my Aries? August of 2019, please. Okay, guys. So, I'm feeling that August is going to be... My camera's crooked. I'm feeling that August is going to be a very passionate month for a lot of people. I don't know, especially fire signs. I just got done doing Leo's uh, reading, and it was very passionate, like very, like, I don't know, glowing reading, and I'm getting the same type of energy for you guys. I feel like, I almost feel like, like a cycle is ending for you guys, and something new is beginning. Uh, whether, you know, I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of making up and reconciliation and all that other stuff because of Mercury retrograde, but I feel like something is ending, like... Not a relationship-wise, but just a certain mentality. Maybe you guys have been going through something personally, okay? But I feel like just something is, I don't know, ending. So let's get started here, guys. I feel like maybe there was a lot of third-party situations happening, maybe. Or like, I don't know, just a lot of confusion on who you wanted to be with or who you wanted to give your heart to, and now you're like finally making a decision on what you want to do like you're just done waiting I feel like you're done waiting on making a decision I don't know okay that may resonate with some of you but that's just I don't know how I felt okay so let's go ahead and get started Holy Spirit what messages do we have for my Aries please Oops. what messages do we have for my Aries okay so we're starting with the tower card we have the three of pentacles we have the three of cups We have the King of Wands, so Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles, so we could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or even another fire sign like yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. The Magician, Page of Wands, Six of Cups, the Nine of Wands, <clears throat> okay, so we have Temperance, we're dealing with the Libra. The Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands. Yeah, a lot of a lot of wands here. A lot of fire happening, guys. A lot of passion. 
let's see here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, more earthy. We could be dealing again with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the High Priestess here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I don't know, more Scorpio, more Scorpio I feel. Uh, Knight of Swords, we could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Two of Wands, Seven of Cups. Okay, so, yeah, under a lot of you might be dealing with a, a, a Scorpio. We have the Death card under the deck, Scorpionic Energy. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords. So we have a pair on the board, guys. We have the Knight of Swords. No, 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 we don't. I'm sorry. I thought that was the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so under the deck, we have the Death card. Again, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. So, <clears throat> again, what did I tell you at the beginning? Changes and new beginnings. Something here is changing. An attitude, a relationship, just, I don't know, something. Something is shifting here, okay? We have the hermit underneath that, okay? Which means, you know, maybe you've been in your head a lot, okay? And you're, this is, this is Virgo energy here, okay? And you're a fire sign, Aries. You have no interest in being depressed and in the dark and in a hole by yourself. Like, you're just not interested, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just not who you are, you know? But you've been in your head a lot lately, and, um... Yeah, I feel like this could be over a relationship. We've got the Two of Cups. You've been thinking a lot about reconciling with somebody, maybe, or someone that you're in love with, um, realizing that this is your Ten of Cups, that this person, you know, you're really in love with this person, okay? So there may have been a separation here, and you went through a little bit of a depression, and now you're starting to realize that this person really is your everything, that you want to reconcile, that they're your Ten of Cups, okay? So it looks like here you're going to be taking control of the situation. Aries, Taurus, energy. That's your energy there. You're, you're stepping into your power. I felt it like that. Leo had this very similar, um, you know, situation here where stepping into your power. Like, you know, the month of August, I feel a lot of growth and pet, like people coming up from the dead kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> temperance, okay? We're starting with temperance. We're starting with balancing out a situation. We're starting with, you know, we had a lot of patience towards this, and now we're, we're finding balance on how we actually feel about what happened. We have the tower here. So, you know, I feel like, again, I'm pretty sure this almost came out with Leo, too. We have the tower card here. So I, I'm getting two energies with this tower card. Number one, it could be this major shift in attitude. Don't forget the tower card represents sudden change and then illumination. So you may be having this total change of attitude, which is a tower moment. Okay, tower moment doesn't always have to be black and dreary, um, but it can also mean here that, you know, there was a breakup again. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're in hermit mode, which really isn't like you, you know? So, I mean, there may have been a breakup and you may be kind of balancing out your emotions from that sudden breakup. Um, but now you're, you know, it was a sudden breakup. You had the emotions. Now you're suddenly coming back into your power, okay? Um, we have the 10 of pentacles here. So the Ten of Pentacles, um, I feel, because it's being clarified by the Seven of Cups. So I feel that there was a little bit of confusion about this relationship. Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful relationship. A soulmate connection, marriage, children, you know, money. I mean, everything is there, okay? Everything that you could have possibly wanted was there. But I feel like you may have felt confused about this relationship. I'm not really sure why, because we've got you know, the nine of cups up here next, which is wish fulfillment. So, I mean, this person, you know, this could be you or your person, Aries, it could be vice versa. But I mean, this person was everything you could have possibly have wanted, you know, that they were your wish fulfillment, you know, I feel like this is like the person of your dreams, like someone that you prayed for. But you know, at the same time, this tower may have fallen because you were for some reason confused. Okay, we have the three of pentacles here, which is followed by the seven of swords. Okay, someone was cheating. I don't know if it was you, Aries, or your person, but someone here was being very sneaky, being a trickster, you know, lying, deceiving somebody. We've got the three of pentacles, third party energy. Okay. Um, so I'm getting here, okay, so the Three of Pentacles can indicate a third-party energy. It can also indicate that, <clears throat> okay, because it's not quite as passionate as like the Three of Swords or the Three of Cups. So this could, oh, this third-party energy doesn't have to be another lover. It could also have been friends and family members that got in the way of this relationship. Um, 
causing a lot of lying, gossiping, I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there were some issues like that um, that were happening in this relationship. Like people didn't want to see you guys together. Um, or I'm also getting here that the person, you know, that, that you may have been lying about wanting to work on this relationship. Even though this person, like someone here, the, the whole relationship was everything you could have ever wanted. But I'm feeling like, you know, because the Three of Pentacles is also working on a relationship. I'm feeling that someone here may have been lying about wanting to work on the relationship, okay? Um, because we have the Two of Wands here, which indicates that, you know, they still hadn't made up their mind. They were still in decision-making process. So, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like someone was telling the other person here, yeah, we're committed, we're in a relationship. Um, and they were doing that because realistically, this is someone that, you know, whether it was you or your person, you were their wish fulfillment or they were your wish fulfillment. And, and someone here was saying, yeah, I want to work on this. I want to be with you all the while, you know, they're lying because a decision really still wasn't made. Um, we had a lot of communication here that was happening with the Three of Cups with other people. Look at all those chicks sitting there. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of communication with other people causing this Seven of Cups, all of this confusion, okay? And when you have too many options on the table, you don't really know what plate to eat from. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and even though, you know, the... the pot roast looks amazing or the, the lasagna looks amazing or whatever it is, you know, if you have all these other dishes to choose from, you just don't really know if you want to just only eat pot roast, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that was kind of the situation, even though, you know, the relationship that you were in looked absolutely amazing to you. It's everything you could have ever wanted. There was just so many other options for you at the time. It was hard to really, you know, settle into that commitment mode and it may have caused that tower moment. Okay. Um, we have the magician and the knight of swords so someone here may have been a little being a little manipulative you know what i'm saying um about you know what was really the status of that relationship okay we have the knight of swords which is my mr drama card when you put that with the magician definite manipulation happening here somebody was coming in saying whatever the other person wanted to hear and then dipping off to someone else these other you know chicks right here and it could be other men it could be whatever it could be you know friends okay whatever the case may be you know they were turning to to other people or other friends or drinking or something else you know they weren't really you know they were saying whatever the other person wanted to hear or your person was telling you whatever you wanted to hear but it wasn't really like solid you know it wasn't really solid um we have the king of wands here aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So here you are with your ego, the six of wands. Okay. So I feel like having all of these options really boosted your ego. You know, it really boosted your ego and it would boost anyone's ego. You know what I'm saying? But Aries are known to have quite the ego. Let's just face it. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I mean, I feel like having all these options really boosted your ego. Okay. And you know, you just didn't want to like commit to something or this could be vice versa. You know, Leo, uh, uh, Aries, your person may have had all of these options and it boosted their ego and they didn't want to, you know, settle down and, and, and make a, a, a solid decision with you, even though they were telling you that they did. So we have the page of wands here being clarified by the queen of swords. So now, yeah. So what ends up happening was this person is sending you passionate messages but, you know, the other per like one person was hot and the other person was cold because one person was in the relationship and the other person wasn't, you know, the other person was kind of being emotionally distant because they're talking to all these other people, you know, or their friends or doing other things, drinking, drug, you know, whatever, you know, a third party can be anything, you know, in this case, it looks more or less like it was another person, but that seems to be the case. So, you know. Again, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. We could have been dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But again, uh, someone here wanted to offer commitment. You know, somebody wanted something, was offering something to somebody. You know, Aries, if this was you, you were offering this person commitment, stability, or your person was offering you commitment and stability. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, this ended with the Ten of Swords. It ended with someone being stabbed in the back because... You know, the truth obviously came out that you're not really in this or that they are not really in this, okay? Depending on who, you know, you got to take it as it resonates. It's a, it's a general reading, okay? So it was a nasty ending, a really painful ending, okay? Um, and it, it caused a lot of, you know, it caused people to, to, to back away. We have the Eight of Cups here, emotional disconnection, and we've got the Nine of Wands, a wall coming up, being defensive, 
someone here put their wall up. They said, oh, okay then. You know, I mean, well, I was, you know, I was here. I was committed with you. I thought that we were, you were happy. I thought I made you happy, but I guess not. You know, I mean, what are you going to do? So now we have the high priestess here, which is secrets, intuition. Um, it could also be someone that you're infatuated with. This is my mistress card. Okay. And we have the queen of pentacles here, which you know, I mean, we have a king and queen on the board, but it looks like they're not really suited because we have one that's all about commitment. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. One is all, this queen is all about commitment, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. And then we have the king of wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So one person is all hot, fiery, sexy, passionate, wanting to mingle and drink and do things. And the other person is like, let's have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the other person is all about commitment, home life. You know what I'm saying? Working. The queen of pentacles is very much about work and handling her finances, handling her home, you know, um, two very different energies there. Okay. So I feel like we had the king, the queen, a committed energy, a, you know, it, definitely a kingly attitude, but someone who wanted to mingle and, 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 you know, do things. And then we have the high priestess here in the middle. You know, we have mistresses. We have, we have other people that are outside of the relationship coming in. Um, even though even though this queen of pentacles um, was a soulmate energy we've got four of wands twin flame soulmate connection it's showing here queen of pentacles six of cups okay which could be also an ex-lover okay it could be an ex-lover it can be the mother of your children and we have the four of wands okay so we have high priestess we have two people here <laughs> two two women here it could be men okay but we have two people here and we have six of cups and four of wands so six of cups again can mean soulmate energy it could mean uh, the mother of your children the father of your children an ex-lover from the past it can mean a childhood friend um and then we have the four of wands which is twin flame soulmate marriage connection okay so i feel like there was two people here and you know You just didn't know what you wanted to do. Or your person didn't know what they wanted to do. I think maybe you possibly saw a life with both of these people. That's possible, you know. Um, you felt like maybe you were a soulmate to one and then but you were like married or in a relationship with another person already. Maybe you had kids with one person but you felt like you met your soulmate on the outside. You know, there's so many different possibilities here. But, you know, now, now you're, you're realizing, I think you've chosen one of these two people because you're coming into your power. You're realizing that one of these people is your Ten of Cups and you're coming into your power and you're off to make a decision. You're off to make a decision. And that's why under the deck here after this, we've got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you see, you have found, finally, we have a match on the board. King and Queen. You know, you have decided who your Queen or King is going to be. You've decided who that King and Queen is. And now I feel like you're going to move towards them or they are going to move towards you with this Cup of Love. The Wheel of Fortune is turning um, in your favor or in their favor. You know, they've been unhappy with this breakup. They've been unhappy with what has happened. And the Wheel of Fortune is a blessings card. It's a good fortune card. And when you're unhappy, that wheel starts to turn in your favor. And, you know, it causes upheaval. It causes you to want to move, you know, move towards your lover, move towards your soulmate. Um, this is also making a decision between two lovers. And, you know, I feel like you have chosen. And now you're going to be coming back with this massive apology. Or they're going to be coming back with this massive apology. And we have the Eight of Pentacles here, which tells me that you or your person, however this resonates, is going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. They're coming in with Leo energy. With Leo energy. We have the Strength card here. They're coming in strong, strong. They want, they're coming in strong. Um, to come and get their Ace of Cups, to come and get their Ace of Cups, their new beginning in love, to, to get their second chance with you, or you're going in strong to them to get your second chance with them. Yeah. All right, Aries. Yeah, that was beautiful. All right, guys, so let's... Um, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the Romance Angels for you guys. Give me one second. And guys, what messages do we have for my ears? Please, angel spirits and guides. Religious factors. Angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Aries, please? True love. For your 
yourself. And under the deck, we have attraction. Okay. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so I'm getting a couple of things here. Um, remember how I had said maybe, you know, one of you guys was married and you couldn't leave the other person? You know, maybe, you know, you're married, you're Catholic, you're Christian, or whatever the case may be, and religiously you can't get a divorce to go to the other person that you wanted to go to. Um, or maybe, you know, that high priestess, high priestess is very spiritual. Okay, so maybe that's a different religion than you and it was causing a problem and you couldn't choose because of that reason. Um, but there was true love here. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, this was true love here. And whatever is holding you back, Aries, whatever religious issues or whatever was holding you back, it's telling you to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You know, you got to do what makes you happy. We have attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yeah i mean you have to be happy you have to be happy you have to be with who you're attracted to and with who makes you happy okay um all right so aries if you uh want to get a personal reading to get a little more clarity you can reach me um all the information is in the description box below don't forget if it's your first reading with me you get ten dollars off any reading 30 minutes or more um the winner for july of 2019 is Crystal Riley. Crystal Riley. So Crystal, if you're watching this, please go to the description box below. Um, my email address, website, everything is listed in the description box below for you to reach me to uh, get your 30-minute free reading. And guys, don't forget, for the month of August, I'm choosing six winners, so be sure to subscribe. One for a 30-minute free love reading, and five winners will get one question answered by me, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like if you did. Have a great day.